Voilà l'équipe IF Education, Tipco SVB qui se présente à nous du côté de ce podium de départ. We're here in Albi and this is... In the morning, uh, it usually starts yeah, anywhere between five and seven, depending on the day. Just getting cars ready, doing a brief preparation of the bikes. All the heavy lifting was done the night before, so pumping tires and uh, getting the roof order organized for the bikes, and just getting everything ready to push off for the start. We are the first, let's say, the first uh, neutral assistance, the first assistance when uh, the team uh, team cars are not there. So we are uh, there to assist uh, everyone. Uh, means we have um, everything. Uh, we know everything about the riders. We know everything about the, the teams. Uh, for each car, we have uh, six bikes and uh, 14, uh, 14 wheels because we have, we have to assist uh, everyone. Once at the start, it just depends on who's been allocated to which vehicle. Today I'm going to be in vehicle two, so I'll be either at the very rear of the caravan or assuming there's a, a brake, then uh, we'll move up and uh, take our position behind the brake and, um, and follow that for the day. Today we believe it will be like a, a sprint stage, a stage with, with some pretty hard climbs, but, uh, but most of it is far from, uh, from the finish. What do I think about? Usually I have one line of a song stuck in my head. One line of some sort of song? Mostly about the race. Vero, Vero, where are you? I have to find your wheel. Sometimes it's whatever like, I listen to before, but sometimes if there's like music playing before the start, then it'll be something completely random. It gives you a bit of rhythm during the race. Or when I'm really suffering, I just count. And I count in eights, because I'm a dancer. But yesterday, I was going I was able to go really deep and I could count to 10. Relatively flat 122.1 kilometers to the finish in Blagnac. Eat, drink, find my teammates. The next climb, the next descent, the next key point, um, my position, how to move up. Also sometimes I just cheer for the people that are in my group. Not out loud, but just in my head, and I'll look to them suffering and I'll just say, you can do it, you can do it, come on, come on. Which is, it's also very encouraging for myself, but it's it's for the pals. As the yellow jersey group reached the foot of the Côte de Clos Purtier, teams decided to attack. Okay. When's a good moment to take my hands off the handlebars to have a drink or something, I have something to eat. Yeah, on some days if I'm, if my job is done early, then try to just also switch off and enjoy the, the atmosphere. Then the finish. <laughs> and there are a lot of expletives as well. Then a crash saw Veronica Irwes, the polka dot of Castelline, hit the deck. Did you Whoa, see a big, big crash, crash on the right side? EF Education's Erwa initially thought to have broken her collarbone. The American instead back on her bike, refusing to abandon. Cycling's a tough sport. Waits for nobody. You know, we've been riding to protect Veronica for the whole week, doing such a good job, and today all we had to do was finish, you know, with the group. We had a lot of belief in her, and to see her end up in the ditch like that. Suffering coming in. Really unfortunate for the team. Veronica's feeling that disappointment more than the rest of us. I'm Veronica. You might know me from the bike race that happened a little while ago, in which I crashed and was in a ditch for a little bit. I'm okay. Went to the hospital after the race and found out that I uh, broke my clavicle, so I'm officially a bike racer now. <laughs> Quite bummed, um, disappointed, heartbroken. Really wanted to see what I could do tomorrow. Um, but that's bike racing. <laughs> I'm very, very thankful for my teammates. Um, Magdalene came back 
and got to the finish with me today, um, which was really, really nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I just have a really incredible um, team around me, not just my teammates, but also my staff um, that helped me just go through this today. So I'm really thankful for them. And also really thankful for everybody that's supported me through this whole endeavor. Not sure what to expect now. I'm just gonna try and recover and I keep shrugging and it's not feeling good. Uh, but yeah, just gonna try and recover and uh, hopefully have at least one more race this season. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I really want to hop on that flamingo.